want to talk to you about something now, which we I only heard about for the first time this morning. Mm-hmm. And I'm a Star Wars fan. I didn't even know this this uh, existed. Okay. Um, now, you've, have you heard of the Star Wars Christmas special? They did a Christmas special in 1978. Yep. Right. Yep. So this I've heard of. This was considered to be... Not great. George Lucas himself said, if I had the time and a sledgehammer, I would track down every copy of that show and smash it. Yeah. I destroy universes. (laughs) Destroy every planet that has that. He hated it. (laughs) But I didn't know about Christmas in the stars. Do you know about this? No. So this is the official Star Wars Christmas album from Uh. 1978. And I thought we could spend some time right now just going through that record. All right, man. I'm cool okay? with that. So it's all about Santa Claus's alien cousin, mm-hmm. S. Claus, uh, who delivers toys to all the droids, all the aliens in the galaxy, and C-3PO and R2-D2 uh, help him make these toys. This is real. And um, So I'm going to play you the title track right now. Okay, It's go called on. Christmas and the Stars with C-3PO explaining Christmas to R2-D2. It's so 70s, it's out of control. Full album of this, if you know John Boyega, why not get him this, this Christmas? Go on, how could you ask a question like that? Of course I'm getting ready for Christmas. It's all right here on my list. I've got mistletoe and holly. I've got peppermints and lollipops <laughs> and 20 different kinds of chocolate bars. How much did they pay you? Everyone will be delighted. Even I am quite excited getting ready for Christmas in the stars. Christmas in the stars. Christmas in the stars. What a merry Christmas. I mean, not now. You know what? Christmas in the stars. Out among the stars. Lighting up a Christmas tree. Come on, everyone, and sing. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go, C-3PO and um, R2-D2 having a little Christmas tune there together. Um, I, I think an international tour is, is, <laughs> is definitely in, in, the, in the cards it for this. It needs to happen. Absolutely. Um, this next one, though, since okay. we're going through the album, mm-hmm. this one is my, my favourite one from the album. <laughs> so the droids have got, they've got their presents sorted from Luke, right? Okay. They've sorted out Leia, they've sorted out Han, but as you can hear... They have a little bit of a trouble with what do they get for our favourite Chewbacca? Oh. What are you going to get Chewie for Christmas? Yeah, true. Let me see. We have a star for Skywalker, right? Yes. And perfume for the princess? Yes. yes. What about Han Solo? Couldn't we get him here? <laughs> that leaves one big problem. The what? <laughs> Couldn't we get him a comb? He gave him a comb. I mean, what do you get a Wookiee for Christmas if he already owns a comb? Well, if he owns a comb, um, some conditioner would be good with yes, that. Yes, uh, Some hair cream. Uh-huh. Um, I'm sure he gets some form of worms in uh-huh. there. So just something that could... Uh, worms? Yeah, fill that out. Right. Yeah, I know the guy, so yeah, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> well, in case you were stressing anybody listening, later on in the album, they go back to this and they, they figure it out. Do we have the data on what to get the Wookiee this year? He already has a comb, you know. Yes, we have finally computed the perfect gift. Here it is. A brush. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. We've got him a brush. <laughs> Wait, finally, they just got him a brush. <laughs> wow. I mean, obviously, you need a brush when you... That whole them. song just for that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the full album of that. Um, <laughs> One. 